What is up, family? It's Too Cool TB, and I'm here to declare myself as an entry in the Home Studio Simplified uh, February Song Contest. Now, this is a contest that they're doing with the collaboration with IK Multimedia and Band Lab, from the looks of it. And what they're going to be doing is they're having some people use the element from the Band Lab. Uh, program that they have here and we're supposed to make a unique song off of that so I'm entering again with this because since I'm always doing the reactions and I'm always doing the uh, critiquing you guys music I figure it might be a good idea if, if I do that on this channel and document my creative process here and show you guys how I go on band lab and uh, look through the elements here what I come up with so so that way you guys can see what I do. So shout out to the Home Studio uh, Simplified channel and shout out to uh, Robert from that channel. Make sure you guys go over there and support what they're doing at Home Studio Simplified as well as support what we're doing here at Powered by Vibes. And um, it'd also be really cool if maybe I could do a collab with his channel. You never know, I'll speak it into existence. We'll see if we can do it. If anybody might be coming here, for the first time due to me mentioning um in this video whole studio simplify it welcome over here i'm too cool tb i'm the front man of a band called professor t in the funk academy also i'm a music producer i started off doing hip-hop music but recently i've been doing more hip-hop rb and pop music as well also i'm a jazz performer i've done a lot of freelance uh jazz playing around my local area so I'm a pretty experienced musician I went to school for this stuff for four years and my day job is doing AV work so I would consider myself to be pretty experienced I wouldn't really consider myself to be a beginner at this point as I think this contest is more intended for but I, I still consider myself to be not a pro yet just because I don't do enough of this stuff to really support myself off of just music yet so <clears throat> into this contest so without any further ado we're gonna start off on this uh video here we're gonna go on over to band lab so i already created myself an account over here on band lab i've never actually used band lab before i don't really do a lot of loop based uh types of things and whatnot so yeah checking out band lab i've looked at it i think this is actually a really good piece of uh software here or a good website i should say you know it's really cool how they have you know you can set up your account and you can go in here they have all these different little sounds that you can pick they have loops they got a little bit of everything it's really neat how they have that set up there's even like a song editor on their site that you can use and put together a simple song so i think this is a really good option for those of you who don't have uh, Apple where you have GarageBand which gives you the loops and whatnot <coughs> excuse me a little bit under the weather so excuse me if I have to cough during the video <coughs> so yeah this is a really nice option for a lot of you guys who are beginners like I said this is my first time ever using this and I like it it's pretty neat so we're gonna do we're just gonna go through here together on this website pick some little songs so you see you got the you can browse here it's got different things there's packs where you get a whole starter kit. Let's check this out just for fun. Disable song starter kit. Let's see. I guess this is like gonna be a, a demo of what you can do. Let's see if we hear this. It's pretty neat. So let's look at an example of what you could do with this. So it's. We'll just go through just to show you guys, you know, what's on here so you can get a little idea of what this is about. Little percussion loop, it's pretty neat. Drum loop. Nice. The hats. No, that's cool. They've had vocals on here. I wasn't expecting that. I like this. This is a neat little setup here. It's pretty cool. So you got that. Get the whole starter kit. You can actually use this and arrange it and put your stuff together however you want. In fact, let me see if I can uh, go to the loops here. So there's some more loops. So 
You can do they have the mood, you got upbeat, intense, chill. You got different genres you can pick, different instruments, BPM range, key. Pretty comprehensive. So let's just check out a couple just to see what it is doing. So let's try the instrument. Let's do a bass. So bass line right there. Let's hit bass a little bit. One shots. For those of you that might not be familiar with what a one shot is, that means you just hit it and it's just going to play it out. So it's like typically it's used as a shorter little hit. So yeah, it's pretty cool, guys. Band lab mastering on here. So really cool kit. I like this. What I wanted to do, I wanted to see if, because I actually found like there's a song editor that you can um, open it up in. I wanted to show you guys how that works real quick. We getting it, we getting it. It's loading. So this is what, okay, so this is what I was trying to get to to show you guys. So I'm not gonna let it access my microphone. It's gonna screw up my OBS. But this is how this looks. So basically you got this going on here and then you have you can actually collaborate with other people. So yeah, this is a nice little tool guys. It's pretty cool. I've never really used something like this for a long time. I mean I have used like <clears throat> back in the day when I was first learning how like years and years ago I was using Magic's Music Maker, which had a similar concept where it's got loose. I messed around with um Logic which has the Apple loops in there one time. Um so yeah, like the loop base, like I know it might seem like, oh, it's just loops. How am I gonna not make something that somebody else has made? Well, here's the thing, like that, the starter kit that we did that, where they had put it together their way, you can put it together your way. So you might have the same loops that someone else has, but you can use your own application and how you put it together. And something that I did, <clears throat> there was a jazz song I put together, like a jazz fusion song that was called South of the River. You guys can check out over on the, the Taylor D. Brown channel, it's my personal channel. And um, <clears throat> I made that with GarageBand. I just put some loops together to come up with the idea for the song. Then we went and recorded the song and remade it with real instruments. And we put our own little flavor on it. So there's a lot of different things you could do with loops that's very helpful and creative for your songwriting process, especially if you're a beginner. This is really, really useful <clears throat> so i just wanted to show you guys that show you guys around the band lab site a little bit so you can see just what it's about how it works in case any of you guys want to uh, do this which i encourage you to anybody just checking this out that's not part of the home studio simplified any of my audience I, I definitely encourage you to participate in this it's always good to get critiques from other producers and to learn get outside of your comfort zone and try different things creatively so now for what I'm going to do, I've already kind of made a decision of what I want to do. I don't really hear a lot of like pop music. I don't really hear a lot of hip hop type things on the Home Studio Simplifies channel for their um, Song of the Month contest they do. So that's the decision I've made to kind of bring some of the Powered by Vibe, Too Cool TB flair to there. I've decided I'm going to make a, a modern sounding pop song. And I actually kind of want to make like a, a Doja Cat like how she did the uh, Kiss Me More and the, uh, what's the other song that she did? Uh, Say So type thing, you know, Say So is a Dr. Luke instrumental. So, you know, I, I would do something like that. So that's more modern pop, more contemporary sounding.